What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode here on the Koi Partner YouTube channel. In today's video I will explain why it's so important to feed the best Koi food for your Koi and Pan. So before we start I need to make clear that not every hobbyist can pay for the best Koi food that's available. So in today's video I will explain what is important to look for if you buy a good Koi food. So let's dive in the many parts of Koi food. If I forgot something, please let me know in the comments and please let me also know what kind of koi food you are using at the moment. Nowadays there are many koi foods on the market that are derived from feeds for consumption fish. Feeds that aim to get the fish as large as possible for human consumption. A worrying development in which the health of the fish is not central. So in today's video I will discuss the most important points so that you can choose the best koi food within your budget. Watch the video completely so you know exactly what to look out for. First of all, don't let fancy packages with the most beautiful and largest fish on them trick you to buy those. So what does a koi need? A koi does not have a stomach like most animals but only has intestines. In the intestines, the intake of all important nutrients that the koi extracts from the food take place. Basically, the koi removes the so-called macronutrients from its food. This concerns proteins, fats and carbohydrates. The proteins. For most hobbyists, the first thing they look at when they are buying a koi food. Proteins are extremely important for the growth and health of the fish. We can divide proteins into the vegetable ones and the natural proteins. A good koi food contains natural aquatic proteins such as high quality fish meal. A cheaper koi food often contains proteins from warm blooded animals such as beef. We as humans can take unlimited proteins while a koi cannot. This is completely dependent on the water temperature and with a surplus of proteins the koi will store this as fat around the organs. The solution? Seasonal food. Let's get back to that later in this video. The following part is very complex and can be studied in detail. I will try to explain the most important parts. Of course we are talking about fats in koi food. Basically there are three different functions of fats for a koi. The first one is energy. Fat are basically one of the first energy sources for the koi. The second one is growth. A koi needs fats to grow. And the third one is the storage of energy. Three very important parts that many hobbyists do not take into account when they are buying a koi food. The last of the three macronutrients is in my eyes the most important and underestimated of all three. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are nothing more than starch and sugars. Together with the fats, they are the energy supplier for the koi. Just like in our food, too many carbohydrates are bad for you and the surplus will immediately be converted into fat. After all, they are sugars. We can conclude that the surplus of proteins and carbohydrates is the direct cause of fat deposits around the organs of the koi. It's therefore very important to look at quantities on the label when purchasing your koi food. A koi food manufacturer is obligated to state this. To make a koi food you need a binder and these are carbohydrates. A good koi food uses ingredients that can be found close to natural food of the carb. So to give an example, they are not grains. Use the following tips that I give you right now and you know what to look out for when you are buying a koi food the next time. As I said earlier in the previous videos, study the label very well. Note the percentage. A koi food can only consist of a composition that is 100%. No less and certainly not more. Do you see ingredients such as grain or soy on the label? Keep in mind that these ingredients have little nutritional value. See if the manufacturer has stayed the net protein utilization. Once again the higher the percentage of body proteins the more these are absorbed by the koi. When you notice the following things it is wise to take a closer look at your current koi food. Foam. If you find too much foam on the surface of your water it means that the koi cannot properly digest proteins. These proteins are therefore of poor quality or you feed too much. Ask yourself this. So the next one is feces or better known as poop. 
it's very wise to look closely at the feces of the fish. The stools must have a firm structure and sink directly to the bottom. When the feces fall apart or there is little to no feces, it's good to ask yourself whether the koi can properly digest the food that are you're giving right now. So finally, buy a koi food that has already proven itself. Think of brands like Hikari and Probites. They have different kind of foods for each season. Be critical and ensure that the fish you take good care of also live healthy for as long as possible. Do you have any questions? Please let me know them in the comments and I will respond as soon as possible with my answer. So do you want more videos like these? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Please give this video a like and share it and we see you next time. Until the next.